There are six male personality types according to the sociosexual hierarchy, which can prove to be surprisingly accurate. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Omega, Delta, and Sigma. In this video, we are going to cover everything you need to know about the Sigma personality characteristics, their major traits, tendencies, what motivates them, how to deal with them, and how to know if you're one. Are they really the lone wolf they are made out to be? Watch till the end to find out. Welcome to Thinker Guru, where we focus on the psychology of different personalities. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can be notified whenever we release new content. Trait 1. Go against the grain. First and foremost, Sigma males go against the herd. In fact, they ignore the herd completely and make their own path. This is because they deliberately teach themselves that societal norms are there to be broken. So they place no value at all on external validation and instead all their decisions come from within and all their actions align with the goals regardless of what anyone thinks. For example, you may find that the vast majority of male college dropouts are the Sigma personality types and you'll be frequently hearing things like, I just didn't feel it was the right thing for me. Or, there was just too much expectations from everyone and I wasn't even sure that's what I wanted. Trait 2. Prioritize themselves. Even though Sigma males can fit well into society and can be sensitive and sympathetic, they always put their goals and happiness over everyone and everything else. Altruism is among the least likely virtues you'd find in a Sigma male, and they're not afraid to admit that. You'd find them saying something like, I'd love to make my parents proud, but I gotta put myself first. And this takes us to trait 3. Are they lone wolves? They give us companionship in order to achieve their goals. This doesn't come from an antisocial mentality or introvertism. But the fact that they're hyper aware that companionship comes with responsibilities which might slow them down, the way they think about it is, having a fulfilling relationship can make them satisfied with their life enough that they don't strive to achieve great things. But if they're alone, all this energy will be focused on themselves. This is a priceless piece of information if you think your partner has commitment issues. By the end of this video, if you determine that he's a Sigma male, chances are they're not really commitment issues. Think about it, it's cheaper and more efficient to travel alone. To live alone, Sigma males value their own time and resources above anything else, and getting into a relationship means they're giving up a massive portion of this time and resources. Trait 4. They need space. Give them space! Sigma males are born to be free, so whether it's a friendship or a relationship, don't make them feel confined. It might take time, but if you convince a Sigma male that your relationship is adding to him rather than taking from him, they're the most loyal and devout personality archetype. Unlike the alpha male who might seek continuous validation by being with multiple partners or beta males who are likely to have numerous short-term relationships due to indecisiveness, Sigma males are characterized by being in two or three very serious relationships in their entire lifetime. They have a meticulous, almost scientific approach to choosing a life partner. Before we continue, let's go back to something important. Remember when I said this? You need to align your major character attributes with your male personality type if you want to succeed in life? More on that later. Yeah, it's later. If you feel like this video is talking to you, like it's been accurate in describing your tendencies and thought patterns, you need to recognize it and act on it. Because alpha and sigma males occupy a similar spot in the socio-sexual hierarchy. Many guys are driven to believe they're alpha because of the way people treat them. And in fact, most men have traits from multiple personality archetypes. But if you feel like there's majority sigma, you need to occupy a role in which you would thrive as a sigma. For example, a managerial role would be as good as something in creative design. You're the guy behind the curtains who runs everything well away from the spotlight. You're the man who makes the magic happen without revealing any of your tricks. Which takes us to trait 5. They don't self-promote. Sigma males strive to be invisible. They don't seek or want recognition or praise for their performance. They just want to be left alone to do their job in peace and amaze the masses in silence. This is perhaps the most misunderstood characteristic of the Sigma male archetype. It's often perceived as arrogance or, you know, being too cool for school, but the truth is they just don't care about validation from society. It's also often confused with Omegas who forsake society because they believe they can't fit in. In short, Omegas abandon society because of frustration, Sigmas abandon it because of nonchalance. Trait 6. Self-Sufficient 
Sigmas are go-getters of the first class. They often move out of their parents' homes at a very young age, or at least they want to. They earn their own money, pay their bills, and are often competent in basic life skills like cooking and cleaning. The idea of living off the grid is extremely appealing to them. They'd love to live in a house that runs on solar energy, growing their own food and away from all distractions, so they can reach their maximum potential as human beings. You know those posts which say you get $1 million to live on this desolate island with your second at for a year. If you feel like this is the dream, yeah, you're probably a Sigma male. Trait 7. Not dependent on others. They fit well within social hierarchies without being dependent on them. So far, you might have painted a picture of all Sigma males being loners who always take an abandoned path to a cabin in the woods. But that's not always true. Sigma males can have a normal job and spend time with family and friends, but the key thing is that they don't depend on any of this in any way. A Sigma male is often liked and respected by members of work. But make no mistake, if he grows tired of it, he will walk away. He never makes himself involved in a way that would make walking away problematic, and he usually has backup plans in case he needed to leave. This is one of the most fascinating traits of Sigma males, because even though they acquire a demanding role within social hierarchies, they're just as good on their own. This takes us to our eighth and final trait before we get into the spicy stuff. Trait 8. Adaptability Life just cannot break a Sigma male, and that's a fact. It doesn't matter what happens, it doesn't matter how hard the going gets, and it doesn't matter how many times they fall. They will always find a way back up and adapt. Sigma males are the best natural survivors out of all the male personality archetypes. This, however, can sometimes actually be a character flaw. Because they know they will survive no matter what, they can sometimes walk away from good opportunities too soon. For example, if a Sigma male owns a company that's not performing too well, his thought process might be something like, even if my company fails, it doesn't matter, I can still probably be a CEO to that other company, and I'd be making more than enough money. So, if you identify as a Sigma, make sure that just because you know you will survive doesn't mean you should give up on things too easily. It would also be smart to surround yourself with other people that would advise you to keep going. By now, you should have a solid idea if you or someone you know is a Sigma male. Think Keanu Reeves or Dr. House, doing their own thing, not caring about what anyone thinks, and being cool as hell. Well, now that you know you're a Sigma male, what to do about it? How to play that to your advantage? Sit tight, because I'm about to tell you exactly how. First, let's talk about something all men care about, women. Congratulations, because you're actually very attractive to females. The fact that you can't be tied down to a prolonged relationship drives the ladies crazy. You're a free spirit, and women always feel like they want to be the one who tamed you. This also makes a Sigma's intimate life always steamy and full of desire, because she knows you could walk away at any second, so she's constantly trying to impress you and keep you interested with new and bold things. Perhaps the only drawback of being a Sigma male is not having a pack, because whether you admit it or not, there is safety and strength in numbers. Having people to take care of you and help you if you're sick or in any kind of trouble can sometimes be life-changing. This is why when Sigma males fall, it leaves scars, not scratches. Some Sigmas, however, create their own separate hierarchies and become their own version of its alpha male. A great example of this is a freelancer or a digital nomad who works alone in his living room to build a business. And once it's up and running, he may hire employees and build a larger company, essentially becoming the alpha of a hierarchy he created himself that suits his tendencies as a Sigma.